everybody and welcome to my first video that I do in English. It's very new for me, but I thought since I do have some new English followers, I thought I'd do something for them as well. So I hope you can understand everything I say. Um, this is a video that I think works in every season. I literally paint these flowers in every season, like, I don't know, 100 times a year. <laughs> so I thought I'd share this little process with you and I hope you like it. Um, the flowers are really easy to paint. You can just paint along and, you know, pause if you have any questions and um, want to rewatch something. So yeah, I hope you have fun and um, if you don't want to miss any new videos, just su subscribe to my channel and yeah, have fun painting and have fun discovering maybe some new tricks and tips. So these are the flowers we are going to paint today. They are four pastel kind of really, really easy flowers. So grab your colors and your material and let's start. I use this Canson watercolor paper and also my usual <laughs> materials. This is a, a round brush and my palette and you can see we start with very round shapes and just kind of add little blobs and <laughs> connect them with our brushes and just add up lots and lots of more brushes onto our paper so in a kind of a it's a kind of a cup shape I think and also they're blobs and zigzag lines <laughs> combined I guess so you just have different layers and you arrange them in a semicircle or a cup shape and then just stop make sure to leave some white space between each petal and each yeah part of the flower and then we can add a really nice and thin stem and some leaves i use this really nice dark green because i think it's such a great contrast to the this pink flower and yeah just add as many leaves as you like and also leave some white spaces with these leaves it always looks nice and for the next flower we'll mix up some pink and purple and also and this is the important part <laughs> I used some I think it's called titanium buff like this white watercolor and it makes this really nice and blushy and like pastel uh, color and then we just go ahead and they're basically also mini zigzag lines and all little hearts like not not at all very um you know neat <laughs> just just swipe your brush a couple of times and you'll you'll just get the shapes it's just the the round brush does it automatically kind of and then also add some stems it's a like brighter green and you just go ahead and add the stems first and we'll fill up that flower with the leaves later and there'll be you know some leaves that are the same color as the stems but most of the leaves will just use a little bit more water with them because then it gives us this nice light and fluffy feeling and we can do a second one of these um, just you know go ahead and do the same thing you did before um, it's just really easy brush strokes you can try on another piece of paper if you're not sure how you can get that style but it's really easy don't think about it too much then again just add stems or one stem basically it doesn't matter if it's the same the exact same color as the other one and the leaves as well 
they're just little blobs. <laughs> I don't particularly, you know, do the, the exact leaf shape. I don't think that's necessary. We can just blob away and we'll have really nice leaves. <laughs> For the next flower, I also use this whitish color and mix it with some blue and we just do the flower petals just by doing like one little heart shape and maybe some blobs as well and arrange them in a circle and it doesn't matter if you if they don't have the exact same color as well you can overlap them and with the water they'll just you, you have this really nice watercolor effect We'll add some really nice and thin stems here as well. I mixed up a um, nice dark green and I think in contrast to these fluffy flowers, um, a quite thin stem is really nice. So just go ahead and pull those down towards you and then we have um, really thin and long leaves for these. So wherever you have some white space, you can just add a couple of leaves there and maybe add some more water to your paint so we have the illusion of a background <laughs> and just fill it up with a couple of smaller leaves as well, wherever you find the white space. But don't overdo it. I tend to overdo it a lot. <laughs> so. Just check and maybe stop from time to time to see if you have enough or if it's getting too wild. And then for the middle of the flower I have, or you know, to add some more contrast, I did some darker spots in blue as well. Just in the middle of the the flower and then we'll let that dry and with a similar pink than before we just do lots and lots and lots of little dots <laughs> and we arrange them in this yeah shape that we want our flower to be in it's not rocket science you just dab 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 and leave some white spaces in between so we can add some stems and leaves as well and then you can go ahead if they're dry or if you're if you think it can use a little more contrast just grab a darker shade and go over it again and here this is really more of a spring flower I think but with the green you have this great contrast between the pink and the green I love that Yeah, now for the second round, we'll add some more contrast to the flowers we painted. So just grab the same tone you've had before and add some dabs and brush strokes to your, to your flower petals. You know, where they overlap, that's where there are gonna be shadows. And on the first layer, you can just add some contrast because it looks nice <laughs> and because you, you'll always have some, you know, darker tones because no flower is going to be the exact same colour everywhere. And the same thing on the leaves and that's, this process will repeat with the other flowers as well. If you don't have enough colour left, just mix up some more. It doesn't have to be the exact same shade, it really, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that it's a little bit darker than the one you've used before, so don't stress it and just dab away. <laughs> you don't have to do every leaf and every flower petal just 
where you feel it needs some more contrast. As I said before, I just grabbed some darker pink <laughs> and added a little more contrast there as well. It's basically a second layer, but that's, you know, sometimes you just, the painting needs that to really pop and I love it. And I mixed some green and titanium buff here, um, just for the, the middle. you can add details, you know, just in thin lines. Yeah, and that's it. These are the four flowers you can very easily and always paint in every season. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.